Hey guys, I'm back today. I'm on um, Battle PvP. Uh, if you guys remember, I uploaded my first episode of this uh, about a week ago, maybe. <laughs> that's long. But uh, maybe a week ago, or probably two weeks ago by now. So, even though I gen those walls, wasted some time on it, I decided to move bases for the. Just the sake of it, because we need. I needed to move for the faction, even though I'm the only active one in this faction right now. And, um, if you guys know, Day Honor is resetting uh, the day of this upload, which is uh, the 9th of January, uh, 2015. So, I don't know why I said it that weird, but anyways, I'm going to be showing off the base that I've built, like, nearly completely solo. The only thing that I've had help with is, uh, breaking Netherrack between the walls, because it's at Sky Limit. Uh, this wall is at 255, and then the water's above it. So, my friend broke the nether rack in, be in between the walls and built a few of these left shooters. But, um, that is it. I gen 30 walls each side of the base solo in about two days. Um, it might not seem like that much, but I'll show you the F map really quick. And we're obviously mob. Um, the leaders of Cryptic got uh, banned for really dumb reasons, charge back and stuff, but this is our nice buffer, that side almost has a 25 chunk buffer, or 20 chunk buffer, and then uh, there's Cryptic over there, so in Warzone, you can go ahead and check out our base if you want, or my base, or whatever, so, uh, 30 walls each side, obsidian covered tops, it looks really nice, if you ask me, I spent time on these walls, so that's Probably one of the reasons they look so nice. I uh, go down here. You can see the scaffolding for left shooters, <laughs> just like last time. Except they're not built because there's a lot more. Uh, nice sponging job. Haven't got around to doing torches yet. So keep in mind, this is a. Uh, whenever I thought I would have nobody else to work with on here, I was close to being done with it, but I I didn't quite get there. So it's nearly completed. We have 30 walls water covered. So um, you can still see the scaffolding everywhere. And then some noobs got some claims on us over there. So, it looks really nice so far. If this thing was actually finished, it would probably be one of the nice, lo nicer looking bases on the server. Not one of the most walls or something, but for a solo person faction, that like the only one that actually works, as um, Grounding Man Grant, he was the one that built the left shooters and break broke the uh, nether rack. So I'll go ahead and um, go on any inside of it. And then show you the defenses. Okay, I'll go in mining right here. So on the inside of this base, we have. I'm gonna go get some air down here. Probably should have thought about that beforehand. So down here we have two layers of uh, anti upwards cannon. I'm probably not gonna prevent anything, but we have two of these. And, uh, they're off-centered. We have crafting tables in here, in case, uh, people try to glitch in. I don't know if they could, but that's to prevent it. And then there's a two -way two thick water layer inside of there, if you guys didn't see that. So, I'm gonna go slash home work. There, we have nothing on the inside of the base yet. We do have, uh, three pigment spawners. Four, actually. But, we haven't put them inside yet. We have, we, I basically worked all this base, and we haven't even done anything with it. So... I'll go on the inside right here. First thing you see if you got into a roof would be this uh, uh crafting table layer. And then below well, that it's just a cobblestone layer and then that's just plain uh base. And this server has patched roof cannons, so you can't uh, nobody could roof cannon this base unless you have like some exploit around that, in which case by all means go ahead and raid us. But I'll go in home bank is on the inside of this base. Or should be, yes. So on the inside here, we just have a few chests with some stuff in them. Sounds are a bit loud there. But, uh, it's a one-by-one one chunk base, and then we're gonna split the middle in half. I think that's the middle, yeah, we're gonna split it in half, have a mob spawner in half of it, and other mob spawner in the other half, so... A uh, mob spawner and a base in the other half, so... Uh, some water buckets in there. Uh, gunpowder, and then I think that's brought for ya. We have some random pickaxes, because people have been taking stuff from out of here. And, uh, I used to vote a lot on the server, but I don't really vote now. And that's my current set. There's somebody below the base that was in, like, Huff. Yeah. 
renovated them, I think, yeah, and then, um, I killed them, and I got that set of prop four, so. So, um, this video is really short, it's not really explaining much, it's just showing what I have done, a few minor defenses, I can, uh, yeah, there's a craft table there from below, so. Uh, go ahead and show your feedback if you want, um, if you liked or disliked it, uh, go ahead and show that. And, uh, Dagon is gonna be coming out soon, so, <laughs> no worry about that, no more, uh, side little videos, Dagon or the main, uh, series of my channel is gonna be coming back, and, uh, I'm really sorry about having only three videos, like, three video series, or, f like, only series that have three videos in them, but if you notice on my channel, I have lots of those, but, so, Dagon is gonna be going on, it's gonna be a stable series, I promise this for you. Unless by something, somehow, my YouTube channel gets deleted, which it won't happen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, we'll be seeing you on Dagon very shortly.